Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. I've got some different news topics to cover tonight, including one of the lead developers that has left Fallout 76, and some issues currently going on with the game, just in case you're thinking it might be just you, and basically just put a little bit more light on it to try and get them fixed, because the more people talk about it, the more chance we have of getting them kind of fixed and sorted out. So, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button, make sure to give the video a share to get the, the voicings out there, I don't know why I said Said that I don't normally ask you to share the video, but hey ho! And if you do enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, that'd be great. Let's dive straight in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first topic of conversation of the tonight's video is going to be about the lead developer leaving Fallout 76. Now, this did happen a good like week, maybe two weeks ago, nearly now, and this is going to be Steve Macy. Steve Macy left around the time of the pit being released. He was a big name involved in doing daily ops as well as the pit, so he had a big impact on the game. But he has left sadly. Now he hasn't left on any kind of bad kind of topics or anything like that there's nothing bad going on he hasn't left because he thinks the game's trash or something like that as much as some people may want to share around and maybe kind of clickbait in that type of way not saying anyone has but just in case anyone does start to do that don't uh, listen to them just ignore it that's not the case at all here's a message that he put into discord saying exactly why he did decide to leave fallout and it reads Please don't worry, I don't want to talk a lot because I don't want to overshadow the release of Expeditions, of which I am so proud to be part of. There are a ton of talented people at the studio still, and Expeditions and the game will continue to go strong. I got an opportunity to work on a much smaller indie project, and after 10 years, I decided I would make a change. It was on good terms, and I gave an extremely long notice to make sure everything launched smoothly. It's the natural course of life, and I'll continue continue to be a huge fan and advocate of the game. So there's a couple of main points in there that he did leave to go to a smaller indie project. Maybe it could be down to the fact he's been working in like the mainstream kind of game industry for a while now, working on big titles by Bethesda, and maybe he just feels like he might need a break. He wants to go to somewhere that's got a little bit less pressure, or it could just be the fact he wants something new, a new challenge. Like, we've all been there, guys. We all work and stuff like that, or maybe go to school, whatever you do, and you might be fed up. You might be like, you know what, I've been here, especially if you've been at work like I've been at my current work for five years now and you know what yeah I would love a change but then you think to yourself you know what I'm really comfortable here but you can get to the point where you're really fed up and you do want a change and that could just be what it is the fact that he also gave an extremely long notice to make sure that the pit launched smoothly and stuff like that shows that he did leave on good terms. If it was on bad terms or anything like that, I'm pretty sure he would have been out a lot sooner. But he wanted to show that he still cared for the company and everything like that and make sure the project that he'd been working on for a good while came to the game in a matter which he seen fit and seen smooth so there was no big issues with it. Now the second topic of conversation. Now I've been sharing a lot of stuff lately about hot fixes coming into the game and sharing the positivity of the fact that Bethesda seem to be right on top of things, getting them all fixed and stuff like that, and it's great to see. And the other day, literally two days ago now, Falseek shared a news update in the Discord saying, Hi all, as mentioned by Bethesda support on Twitter, we are actively investigating issues that players are experiencing when attempting to connect to game worlds. We are working to address this issue as soon as possible so that we can get you all back in the game. Thank you for your patience so far and apologies for the interruptions to your regularly scheduled adventures in Appalachia. I was getting a lot of comments on recent videos saying from people saying they can't get into the game and stuff and I kept suggesting just reinstall the game this does happen every now and again when there's been an update or something sometimes it doesn't need to be a big update it could be a hot fix and maybe something's gone wrong on your side and you've just got to reinstall the game and it fixes the issue I'm sure we've all been there at some point I've been there multiple times it just happens but it turns out when this was announced it was actually because there was an issue ongoing stopping people from getting into the game servers but that's meant to have been fixed now there was also a lot of talks about uh, people crashing a lot and stuff like that but sadly there's nothing being talked about really as far as I can see about all these crashing issues now I did think uh, very early on that this was all linked to maybe older generation consoles if you're still playing on PlayStation 4 or 
uh, Xbox, whatever it is. I get mixed up with the names of the new Xboxes. They're all so similar, but you know what I mean? If you're on the older ones and you might be seeming to get a few issues and stuff like that. So I was suggesting to a lot of people that was the case, but it turns out a lot of people are kind of coming out and saying this, no matter what console they're on. So I'm hoping there are currently ongoing people working on this to try and sort this out because it's only came out during the pit. There's a lot of people complaining during the pit, they're getting a lot of crashes and hopefully Hopefully this is something that can get resolved as soon as possible but I just want to kind of make a note of it and share it around and voice my thoughts on it and get the issue shared around so to speak so hopefully more eyes are on it and I can somewhat help in my only way possible sharing my voice on YouTube. Now to finish on there is one more issue that is currently ongoing and this may or may not be fixed by the time you see this video so just bear with me on that one but there's nothing being mentioned in the community tab yet on Discord when they do the announcements and stuff in there but there's a lot of people currently having issues on PlayStation. They can't access their friends list meaning they can't play with their friends. Now I'm not entirely sure whether this is on a PlayStation app However, a lot of people are suggesting that they can play with friends on other games and it is solely a Fallout 76 issue on the PlayStation servers. We have seen this happen in the past a couple of times, but when we've seen that, I think it was across all platforms and it's weird to see it just happening on PlayStation. I've played myself on PC and I'm not having any of these issues, so I don't know what Xbox is currently like, sadly I don't have Xbox, but there is these issues currently ongoing, so hopefully but there's the hears of this. I've heard a lot of people raising tickets and stuff like that, but if you are one of these people, don't worry, it's not just you it is an ongoing issue and we're waiting to hear any more news on that there you go guys a lot of negative news in this one sadly today i do normally try and keep everything as positive as possible but like i say they have done a lot of hot fixes lately so hopefully they are already on with kind of sorting these out and fixing them and stuff like that but we will have to just wait and see see what happens with it all and hopefully it will come in and get fixed as soon as possible from what i've heard the playstation friends list has been down for nearly 24 hours now so hopefully that gets sorted as soon as possible and you guys over there can continue playing with your friends for now though guys i've got no more news to cover so stay tuned if anything does pop up if any announcements comes out about any hot fixes or something i will let you know but it is going into the weekend now so we are probably not going to hear anything until next week for now though guys if you did enjoy hit that like button make sure to support the channel by also clicking on that subscribe button if you're new and i will catch us in the next one thanks for watching bye bye